OpenAI may have just accidentally admitted that they are on the brink of a so-called hard takeoff where safe AI is more difficult to build than unsafe AI. And honestly, it's not an exaggeration to say that the fate of all humanity could be at stake here. By now, you've probably seen that OpenAI have written a long blog post addressing the court case that Elon Musk has started against them. In that, they've published a series of emails addressing the relationship with Elon and alleging that he was happy with their decision making to pivot to a for profit model. But on closer inspection, it seems like OpenAI may have let a much bigger cat out of the bag in those emails. One of those emails from Elias Sutskeva, their chief scientist and one of the godfathers of AI, writes, the article is concerned with a hard takeoff scenario. If a hard takeoff occurs and a safe AI is harder to build than an unsafe one, then by open sourcing everything, we make it easy for someone unscrupulous with access to overwhelming amounts of hardware to build an unsafe AI, which will experience a hard takeoff. As we get closer to building AI, it will make sense to start being less open. The open in OpenAI means that everyone should benefit from the fruits of AI after it's built, but that it's totally okay not to share the science. So as far as I can tell, there are basically three possibilities to be taken from the outcome of this email. I'm going to go through them in order of scariness from least scary to most scary. So possibility one is that there is no bad AI hard takeoff. Elia and OpenAI are just kind of using this idea as a smokescreen or some kind of cognitive dissonance so that they can keep the IP of OpenAI to themselves and profit from it in conjunction with Microsoft. Now, those who are more pragmatic amongst you who would say, you know, you just follow the money in these situations, this is probably the outcome that I would guess you would suspect. Scenario two is that they have seen signs that their systems are capable of a hard takeoff and they want to keep the IP so that they can essentially protect the rest of the world and let it out bit by bit gradually and make sure that no bad actors get their hands on their IP. Scenario three is that they've seen AGI already. Now this is potentially what the rumored Q star system is all about. Uh, this is the system that scared Uli Elias Sutskeva into getting rid of Sam Altman. Sam Altman then came back. There's been lots of rumors swirling about what this system can do. Scenario three is that they already have an AI that is capable of a hard takeoff. And if they were to open source it, it could get into the hand of bad actors and potentially cause all kinds of chaos and destruction and who knows what else. But this system is the one that Elon Musk is referring to when he talks about the threat to humanity in the lawsuit. Honestly, I don't think anybody knows the answer here, but it's very surprising that they've released these emails and I honestly can't see any other possibilities other than those three things. Overall, I think it's depressing that the fate of humanity seems to hang in the balance of power between these three different personalities, Elon, Sam and Elia. And the profit motive is clearly something to consider here. But the question over what we do really is still, frankly, a mystery that we, are, we have no good options. I don't think that it's optimal to have a potentially world changing technology simply in the hands of OpenAI and Microsoft to profit from it as much as possible. Alternatively, open sourcing it could be, as Elia suggests in the email, extremely dangerous. Government regulation, you would hope, can get ahead of this, but I've also been very critical of the Biden administration's AI legislation. I don't think it's up to scratch. So really, there are no good options here. It remains to be seen what they are referring to uh, when they talk about this hard takeoff scenario and whether indeed it will be open sourced or not. I will be sure to be keeping all of you up to date. So make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think about this OpenAI email release in the comments. See you next time.